What's up guys, welcome back to the channel, and today we got some new info on the DLC, and probably the most important thing, besides all the old Pokemon coming back, is this new Pokemon, Galarian Slowking. Now, originally I, I wasn't too excited about Galarian Slowking, I was like, okay yeah, we got Galarian Slowbro, we're probably gonna get Galarian Slowking, it's gonna be interesting, but it's probably just gonna be just like Galarian Slowbro. No, this thing is like its own Pokemon and it's actually kind of busted for VGC because they just announced a new move it gets and they also announced its new ability. And I'm going to I'm gonna be explaining to you guys why that new ability is probably going to be the thing that fixes a lot of the issues with the Dynamax format. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed this at any point in time, be sure to leave a like and comment down below what you think about Galarian Slowking. Alright, so I'm going to read this out to you guys uh, and then we'll get to the ability. A Brainy Shelter takes charge. The Brainy Shelter uh, bite off a section of a reaction between the chemicals secreted by Galarian Slowpoke's brain and the spices, in the spices, the spices inside its body causing Slowpoke to gain the poison type as it evolved into Galarian Slowking. The Shelter's intelligence also skyrocketed giving the Shelter psychic powers uh, that put other psychic type Pokemon to shame. So I guess we can assume that this thing is probably going to have a disgustingly high special attack stat. Uh, considering we saw that Galarian Slowbro took a more offensive route than defensive, uh, I'm assuming this thing is going to be a very, very powerful uh, special attacker. Uh, Galarian Slowking had been observed uttering incantations in order to communicate with each other, so they're like demonic. Uh, they also appear to chant mysterious spells when using moves in battle. Exactly what these Pokemon are, or exactly what these Slowking are saying, has yet to be fully understood. So that's just some lore behind it. Uh, obviously it's going to be a special attacker, like we can just tell by the design and the Slowking line. Uh, I'm assuming since uh, Galarian Slowbro can be a mixed attacker, this thing is going to be full special attacker uh, and probably have a disgustingly high special attack stat. But here's the thing, it has a new psychic type move, Eerie Spell. It's a psychic type move uh, in which the Pokemon attacks with tremendous psychic power, so obviously probably a high base power. Uh, if hit, the opponent doesn't only take damage, but it loses 3 PP from the move it last used. This is pretty huge, because there are a lot of moves that, if you're playing online and you're playing legitimately, you don't always max out the PP on your moves. Let's say you're using something like, uh, ooh, this is a good one, Urshifu. Urshifu's move, um, or I guess Urshifu Water, because this one's immune. Urshifu Water has Rapid Strikes. Is it called Rapid Strikes? Surging, Surging Strikes. I'm stupid. My girlfriend just corrected me because I'm dumb. <laughs> and I forgot the move uh, the Pokemon learned. Surging Strikes. So Surging Strikes only has 8 PP. Now, imagine they go for Surging Strikes once versus you and you eat the hit, right? They go down to 7 PP and then you hit them with a super effective move that lowers that move by 3 PP. They're now down to 4 Surging Strikes. And if you hit them again, like if they live that turn and you hit them again and they go for that move again, they already run out of Surging Strikes with two moves, and that's if they max it out. Not everyone maxes out the PP on their moves, which means that this thing is going to have 5 PP. So they will only get to click it like once. So that's kind of busted for people that aren't prepared. This thing is pretty much making it so like, yeah, you should probably start PP maxing, which is really, really gross. But probably the most important thing we get from this Pokemon is its ability, Curious Medicine. Galarian Slowking's ability Curious Medicine is a new ability introduced with this expansion. When a Pokemon with this ability enters the field, ally stat changes are reset. So that's good for two things, right? As you can see on the screen, Arcanine goes for an Intimidate, and then Galarian Slowking switches in, Curious Medicine activates, and Absol has its uh, stat changes removed. So if you like predict them to go for the Intimidate, uh, by switching in the Arcanine and you get in Slowking right after that, uh, you will obviously be able to reset that and then your po your partner Pokemon will be able to hit them for some pretty hefty damage. But not only that, not only that, but it's also really good versus a couple of problem Pokemon that I expect to see uh, in the next format. So obviously we all know Tyranitar. Tyranitar will run weakness policy most of the time, and once it's Dynamax, Tyranitar with weakness policy is very, very difficult to get around. Uh, because it's got double HP, it's very bulky, and it has double attack and special attack. Well, usually you'd have to play defensively for three turns, uh, which is very difficult to do in a Dynamax format, uh, and then try to knock it out once it's, you know, undynamaxed and it has a regular amount of HP. Well, now Slowking makes that so much easier, because you can protect the Pokemon you expect it to attack, switch in the Slowking, fixing its stat changes, bringing it back down to neutral, and then your protects will actually matter. <laughs> then the protects will actually block damage. So 
yeah, that's that's actually really cool. On top of that, because it resets all stat changes, Pokemon that are coming back like Kartana, uh, Kartana obviously has Beast Boost, and also, if you don't know, access to Aerial Ace, uh, which <laughs> turns into Max Airstream. So Kartana is likely going to be a speed boosting Pokemon that also gets Attack Boost uh, from getting KOs with Beast Boost. So this thing will be able to stop sweeps, essentially. It's going to be able to deal with the speed boost on Cinderace, the attack boost on Cinderace, and also a fun little tech. You can use your own Dragapult. You can go for, like, Draco Meteor. And Draco Meteor will obviously lower your Dragapult special attack. Uh, and then the next turn, you can lock yourself into Draco Meteor one more time and switch in the Slowking to reset it to have a full power Draco Meteor. But yeah, this thing is honestly super, super interesting. Um, I'm curious to see what sort of coverage it will get, because if we look at Galarian Slow, uh, Galarian Slow King... Where are you? Where are you, Galarian Slowking? Oh, that's regular Slowking. So I guess I'll just put everyone on screen. I'll get I'll put Slowbro, Slowking, Galarian Slowbro, uh, Galarian Slowking, because they sort of follow a pattern. Slowbro and uh, Galarian Slowbro. So here we have Slowbro, right? 95 HP, 75 attack, 110 defense, 100 special attack. Uh, 80 special defense, 30 speed. They're obviously going to keep the 30 speed. It's pretty rare they'll make anything fast out of a super slow Pokemon. And then Galarian Slowbro, if we look at it, it actually had its uh, physical defense switch over to its attack stat. And, or actually not quite. They, they pretty much lowered its defenses overall. So it went from 110 defense and 80 uh, special defense to 70 special defense and 95 defense. So they're, they're lowering the defenses to put it into offenses, and they gave it both special attack and attack, and it makes sense thematically, because this thing, you know, it looks like it could punch something, I guess. <laughs> it's adorable, to be honest, but um, it also has, like, that move sh uh, Shell Sidearm, which does either physical or special damage, so it makes sense for them to account for that and make it a mixed attacker. Where with Galarian Slow King, if, if we look at uh, Slow King stats, it's pretty much got like pretty it's it's pretty much the same thing except they gave it higher special attack um or no they gave it higher special defense than physical defense so i would assume that maybe the special defense would get switched over to special attack this thing may have like 110 special attack which is nothing to scoff at considering it's able to lower your pp and also eat hits pretty well uh so i would assume that this thing would probably get 110 special attack somewhere or maybe even it would boost up to 130 and make it extremely frail i'm just curious to see how they end up going about it um but just the fact that it's likely going to have a generator like Slowbro, uh, the fact that it has that other broken ability that is able to reset stats is super cool, and I'm honestly very excited to uh, see what it can do in the format. But yeah, if you guys want to do me a favor, comment down below what you think about Galarian Slowking. Uh, do you think it's busted? Do you think it's fine? Do you think it's going to be a super interesting Pokemon to see in the format like me? Uh, but yeah, with that, I'm going to call it, guys. Everyone have a nice night, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.